It's your boy, Trey 600 Quentin TV, and we back again with another one. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, hit that notification bell. Shout out to the notification gang, and salute to all my new subscribers and all my day ones. I do this for y'all. Let's get to it, man. Little Flip's jury versus everybody. Now, if you don't know who Lil Flip is, you've probably been sleeping under a rock, but let me speed you up real quick. Lil Flip is a Houston legend, you know what I'm saying? He been going in for a while, platinum recording artist, had a deal by itself, you know what I mean? The SUC legend, you know, one of the youngest in the SUC, best freestyler to me. You know, they call him the Freestyle King, Screw said that. And, you know, we just showcasing, you know, his jury versus everybody else's jury. And he just started off with, man, a whole ring box, like that ring box that you see in the little, in the mall on the jury store. He literally had a whole ring box, you know, and that was 215K. Then he had he, three bracelets. All they added up to probably like 60 grand, had black, the yellow gold, and the, and the big diamond. It was, it was dope, man. Yeah, you know, and also he known for his platinum grill. He was switched from gold to platinum, then switched over to another grill. It was even some even more, and that was seventy five k. And then he put out the Flyboy piece. You know, that was one fifty, and the chain was sixty five. And then he rep DJ Screw. Like I said, he he's a SUC, you know, original. And so he had that big old DJ Screw chain. You know, and that was crazy because that was that was forty five k. And then. 713 piece. He also had the Houston Rockets jersey, like one of the first ones to like get the jersey and actually put it in a piece. So that, you know, that's real crazy. Like I said, he was really before his time. And this is an old school interview, but he definitely said, get your paper first and, you know, stack it up, get a house. And before you get all that jury and salute that, man. But hey, it's a new segment. You know what I'm saying? The little flip, you know what I'm saying? His jury versus everybody. Y'all let me know what y'all think. Let's go. All uh, white gold rings, you feel what I'm saying? Yeah. Like 10, 10, 12, 11, 10, 6. All right? White gold. Rest of the rings are platinum. I ain't finna go each by one, because you know, when I buy my jewelry, I like to do two, you know, two fingers. So you could just say this whole tray right here is like, because platinum, and let me let you get my face, because platinum is like eight times more than gold. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Just just to let them know that, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So you can say this whole case right here, dog, you're looking at $215,000. Right there. And them ain't rubies, and no, them is blue diamonds. You feel me? So put two put 215 with that, straight yeah. up. Then a little pinky ring right here, this platinum, no white gold. Pinky ring, yeah. see that? The one stone that's in that, that one stone right there is 10 stacks. Just the one stone, right? Yeah. Now it's sitting in platinum. The band is like 12. You know what I'm saying? But platinum, you know what I'm saying? Right at 40. You know what I'm saying? That's just 40. Then you got the black diamonds. You know what I'm saying? That's 40. Black diamonds on the platinum, though. And the rhodium. You know what I'm saying? We got the yellow wrist. You know what I'm saying? That's 20. Yeah. Yellow wrist, 20. You know what I'm saying? Smaller diamonds than the diamonds in the white. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Because I wanted the diamonds bigger. This 30. This white go right here. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. All right, so we on that. And you got the ring, you know what I'm saying? This ring cost me number 10 stacks. What? Ain't nothing, yeah. you know what I'm saying? But it's sitting in platinum. Yeah. If I got it in white gold, I got it probably about five or something. The watch, the bezel alone in the watch is 15. Yeah. The yellow diamonds, red diamonds, you dig what I'm saying? And the, the little sides, you know, looked out for me. So I'm going to keep it all the way real. Shout out to King Johnny. Yeah. Bracelet right here, this ain't number 12. You know what I'm saying? White gold. Yeah. White gold to match the white gold. All right? When we get to the grill, no pull out. Wait, let me pull it out. Oh. oh, I can't do that. <laughs> know what I'm saying? Oh, really? Platinum. When I first got my deal, you know what I'm saying? I had already had platinum in my mouth. High school. Go to my yearbook. 1999. Had the diamonds in the mouth. Ain't no act. You know what I'm saying? You said the dough. So we don't get no uh, unwanted audio. So I've been having the diamonds in my teeth. So when I had got my deal, I switched my grill again. Because at first I had my name at the bottom. It said flip. Tight. Yeah. When it got it done the right way. So I got like $75,000 in my mouth. I'm finna do all my teeth. All 32, you know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah. So 75 in the mouth. We got the flyboy chain right yeah. here. You know what I'm saying? The piece alone, the piece alone, 150. The piece alone, 150. Okay, you got that? Yeah, yeah. The chain, 65. Yeah. Okay, you got that? Screw it up, click chain. From EJ Screw. You dig what I'm saying? Yeah. The spinning part alone. Yeah. The spinning part alone, thirty-five thousand. 
Oh, really? That's what's the up. bezel, all he hit me up for for the bezel was 12. You know what I'm saying? Nice stack. Yeah, he looked out for me on the bezel for yeah. 12 stacks. Screwed you know up click. Screwed up click for life. Yeah. 713, I wanted something to go with my Rockets jersey. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So I told Gate, sometimes if you, you got good relationships with your jewelry, you can say, hey, take five stacks, do what you do. Yeah. So that's what the 713, five stacks, white gold, and go front, lie. Get to the Houston Rockets jersey, there's 50 stacks. Now, if you see the way the diamond's set in it, I got all my jewelry, I ain't gonna lie. Like, when you see this yeah. hit on stage, dog, like, I'll never trade this this in or get rid of it or do anything. Just stand with me. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Thanks. And let's bring out Big Daddy. Last but not least. This is Big Daddy. I call it the Granddaddy. Clover, what I say on the mixtape, man? I could buy your life with my, my grip. Daddy yes, Clover. sir. Yeah. I could buy your life. So, you know, at first I had just the Clover. You know what I'm saying? It started. Trying to get big pieces like me. So just to clover alone, by itself, you're looking at a hundred and ninety thousand. Round it up to two hundred. Hold up, we, we we almost done. JT, that's JT. You hit it up for like forty-five grand. Just the you know what I'm saying? Just the the outside. Forty-five thousand. So add out up. I'm finna go smoke me some more of that kush and enjoy myself. You know what I'm saying? I just wanted to pull my dot. And I got my leprechaun chain, you ain't seen that. I got a Houston Oilers uh, helmet, and I got a couple of other clovers that I left at home. Oh, yeah, and I almost forgot the diamond chain, the two-row. You know what I'm saying? I went to the two-row just to have something cool. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Real diamonds, none of that BS. You know what I'm saying? This was like 60. You know what I'm saying? I was a fan of a four-row diamond chain. Everybody got some after. And last but not least, because I almost forgot this too. It ain't your piece if it ain't customized. See my face on the back of that? <laughs> The little hologram, that's me, yep, that's Gates. And then, you know, yep. make sure you got your name on the back of yours. Customized. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yes, sure. And not only am I a client, I'm also the president. Oh, really? Oh, for Obama. <laughs> oh, yeah, I did that already. Yeah. 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 So, that, that's how your boy Flip Gates do it, Juels, yeah. you know what I mean? Shout out to Juels, man. But right, the recession, it ain't about none of it. Yeah. When, the time, when it's time to pay them bills and mortgage people, they don't about none of that.